What is up beach bums? Welcome back to the beach. Today, I'm trying to use small sand fleas, which that's really basically all that's around right now, to catch some fish up close. Maybe some whiting, black drum, possibly redfish if they're coming through. I've never really tried this. I've never really tried those little micro sand fleas, but in the winter time, that's just predominantly what's around. Don't really see the schools, or the colonies too much of those sand fleas. Typically, I like using shrimp when, I, when I'm whiting fishing. And I've used sand fleas a little bit in the past, but I really like to test out today and see if they are any more successful or about the same or you know what, what the difference is at all, if any. So I'm gonna get to raking and then we'll start fishing. I want small sand fleas. So I'm just gonna be blind raking. I'm not looking for colonies. I'm just gonna be raking in random spots, trying to pick up a few sand fleas here and there. All right, there's one, and that's perfect. That's what we're looking for. You got a couple more of that next rake. This one's a little bigger, that's okay. He's still not too big. That's the idea, it takes a little more time because like I said, you're not gonna be able to necessarily spot those colonies this time of year. But they're here and just mostly small. Now we got our baits. We're gonna get them rigged up. I've got a size two circle hook. Rigged up, so pretty small hook. These are my, if you've heard me talk about it before, these are what I consider my whiting rigs. And we're gonna be fishing up close in this first gut with just a small sand flea. The key when you're when you're hooking these sand fleas, whether it's a big one or a small one like this, you just wanna be real gentle when you're putting that hook tip through. You just wanna crack their shell. That, that's the only problem you'll have with them fl flying off if you crack that shell while you're hooking it. So you just wanna be real gentle with it. But we're just gonna be fishing this first cut right here, looking for some whiting with our micro samples. Oh, we're getting some attention here. That looks like an interesting bite. Sometimes that, that kind of bite is usually a better fish. Oh, oh, we're getting them. Come on. This might be a drum. No, no lie. Come on. No. No. Dang it. That was a good fish, man. He was just, he was just, ah. Uh. I thought he was on and swimming towards me. Oh man, that was a, uh, that had to be, that, that slow tap like that. Oh man, well, dang it. I was trying to let him eat it, I thought he had it. That was just my mistake, dang it. That did not take long. I, I didn't have baits in the water, maybe five minutes. All right, maybe there's still some there. Oh, there we go, there we go. First fish on the sand flea. Come here. After that uh, first bite. All right, heck yes. That's a good whiting right there. I have honestly not used sand fleas hardly at all for whiting. I usually knock them because I'm like, you know, shrimp just works so good. So this is kind of a trial for me to see how effective small sand fleas are let's see what his length is he is right at 11 right at 11 inches i can't keep fish today because we are leaving to go out of town we're not gonna have an opportunity to eat it before we leave so we're gonna get you back thank you buddy see you dude all right we're on the board with our micro sand fleas oh oh here we go here we go fish on fish on Looks like it's probably another whiting. Oh, he's, he's getting rolled in the wave. Little guy. He's just a small fry, but that's fish number two. I, I know that whiting eats sand fleas. I see it in their bellies and all. 
I've tossed them out here and there for whiting, but because I've always just been so successful with shrimp, it's just hard for me to actually commit to using sand fleas. This is really going to be eye-opening for me, really giving them a chance for, for whiting fishing. Here we go, here we go. There we go. Okay, this one feels like it might be a little bit better than that last one. A little bit better fish. Come here, bud. He's using his weight a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, I did change this one out. Uh, it had gotten real slow. So I changed this bait out. I still got uh, sand flea on that one, but I did put a piece of shrimp on here. And what do you know, we, ca we catch a fish pretty quick and it's a big one. Good quality whiting right here. I'm gonna get a measure on him, but fat, good, thick, would be perfect to eat. Beautiful fillets would come off this joker. This guy is 12 and a half. 12 and a half, that's Beautiful, beautiful fish, perfect size. Thank you, buddy. See, you, dude. Oh, 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 get a bite on the shrimp. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. That's a good one. Yeah, this should be a good fish. Well, we, we got a bite first on the sand flea, but he didn't hook up. But the shrimp got him, got him to commit. Should be another good fish. Yes. I love catching whiting in the winter months. You get such a good opportunity at quality fish like this. It's probably another 12 and a half. Let's measure him. Yep, right at 12 and a half. Basically the same fish that we got last time. All right, see you, dude. Well, you can see why I like using shrimp for whiting. Even though sand fleas is a more natural bait for them to, to feed on, like in the surf, you've got ghost shrimp, the coquina clams, and sand fleas, like that's what they're used to looking for. Regular pieces of shrimp that you, that you eat and that you usually use for bait, that's not really natural to this area. They're not really hanging around here. So it's, it's interesting, it's odd to me that that bait tends to work more. I guess it's just a scent thing. I, I assume that it just puts off more scent and they find it quicker than they do the sand fleas. Cause it's definitely, like as soon as I started putting shrimp on, boom, boom, two really quality whiting. And we've been sitting here for a little bit before I started getting bites. Got a good hit here. This could be a good fish. Oh yes, this one's got some weight. Come on, be a 15 plus. Oh, 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 oh goodness. What do we have? Man, he's a, a brute. There we go. Nice, good fish, real good fish. Definitely biggest of the day here. Really solid fish here. This one's, I'm gonna guess probably 13. We're gonna get an official measurement here in a second, but fall awesome. But when they got that heavy weight behind them and it's a whiting on these steelhead rods, it's so cool. He's a little over 13. If you pinch the tail, he's probably 13 and a half. Yeah, about 13. Right, we'll say 13 and a quarter. We'll split the difference. 13 and a quarter inch whiting. Perfect, biggest of the day on the shrimp, but we're upgrading, beautiful. See you, buddy. We're hooked up on a, what feels like a good fish. Feels weird, feels different. My GoPro is having issues. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at you, sand flea. Coming in strong. This is definitely gonna be your biggest of the day. Woo! Solid, solid. I was late on the draw with the GoPro, but uh, 
Another quality fish for the sampling. I think this is going to be its biggest. Let's get the length on this guy. 13 and a half. There we go. Tied the biggest of the day so far, which was on the shrimp. Woo! Go sampling. Getting some good fish today. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This. Oh gosh. I wasn't rolling. This is a good fish. I don't even know if this is a whiting. If it is, holy cow. I need to I need to give him some drag. Oh man, he is pulling and he is super fast. What the crap? What the crap? I was like not even paying attention. The bite had died down. I was seriously contemplating calling it quits. And this rod just burned. Oh my gosh. This thing is going nuts like a pompano. Holy cow. Holy cow. It is a pompano. No way. I assumed it was going to be a whiting. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. This was up close. What? What? <laughs> I can't believe it. I haven't, I haven't called a pompano in forever. Oh, there goes another. That rod, oh gosh. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, this is probably another pomp. We're keeping him. This might be another pompano. If the school came in. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Woo. Woo. I was seriously like, oh, it's probably time to call it quits. Water is dirty and I'm fishing close. This was on that micro sampley. Oh, this is just a big whiting. Dang. Woo. How cool is that? I thought it was gonna be another pump. Huh. See, look at that. Look at that sand flea. It is itty bitty, just teeny tiny little sand flea. And this nice, probably 13 inch, uh, 13 inch whiting, hammered it. Woo! Heck yeah! What a surprise! Hello, Pompano. The way I'm fishing today and the conditions. Never would have guessed it was a pomp. But the way it was fighting, I was like, if this is a whiting, holy cow. But beautiful fish. I love these fish. I think this is my first pompano of 2020. I believe it is. Wow. So glad to see these fish. So cool. I'm gonna end the day there on that one. This is uh this is a great way to end the day to, to be able to pop one of these guys off. And on the steelhead rods so cool to catch these fish on steelhead rods probably about a 15 inch fish oh he's a little bit better he's 15 and a half solid good good thickness to him i wasn't planning on keeping fish but we, i'm not letting this guy go this is my first one of 2020 <laughs> i'm gonna eat him for lunch great way to end the day that was a lot of fun catching that pompano on light tackle awesome just really got my blood pumping i was so stoked to have that fish really cool and it's going to be delicious i'm still convinced after today that shrimp is definitely the way to go for whiting fishing it's just a lot quicker it's going to produce just a lot more fish the sampleys did produce we still caught some decent fish some quality fish they get a 13 and a half on that and the very first bite of the day was on a sand flea and it, and it really looked like a black drum i know there it could be a few different things but just the, from what i've seen i've seen a lot of black drums initial hit and it just really looked like that so could have produced that if i had not screwed that up so definitely worth doing i wouldn't say don't use sand fleas but if you're whiting fishing it may be best to stick with shrimp most days hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and as always you stay bummy